Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camila for those of you who are new here and here in my channel I love to share my passion a little obsession with fashion items, designer goods, I do a lot of unboxings of bags, shoes, jewelry and I do reviews of these items so if you are interested if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel and also make sure to check me out in my Instagram account in there you can see daily posts of me styling all of the items that I share with you guys over here so today just a few minutes ago i received this box here which has inside the bag of my dreams and i am just unable to contain my excitement but at the same time i am just so nervous because i had already purchased this bag before from a different store and it was a big fail the bag was defective there were so many issues with the bag uh, there were massive issues with the links of the chain in the strap the strap of the bag was shorter and the biggest problem of all for me was actually the fact that the flap of the bag was crooked so after having the bag here with me for a couple of days and having taken it out of the bag and tried it on and compared it against another uh, mini flap bags that I own I was able to realize that it was really crooked so I was really devastated that when I thought I had actually found and managed to score the bag of my dreams which was just so difficult to get um, then I have received a bag which is defective so I was giving very little and if I'm honest actually no hope whatsoever that Chanel would be uh, willing to replace that bag and uh, I'm not going to go into details about this now because honestly I do not want to remember this anymore because it was so much anguish to be honest with you but anyways at the same time I communicated my wish to return my bag to my essay I got a text message from another essay from a different Chanel boutique saying that she had the bag for me and I just couldn't believe it I mean it is just a surreal but as much as I am excited to do the unboxing I'm also very very nervous because as you may understand once the situation happens with you you get very skeptical and especially because I couldn't inspect the bag personally because of lockdown so I had to rely on photographs taken by the SA and as you may know sometimes you can't really pick up little defects from photographs depending on the angle that the photos are taking or the lighting that you know the environment has may affect how you perceive it so i'm really hoping that this will be a successful unboxing and i just can't wait any longer to share this with you i have already opened the big box but that's how it came in here she put a lot of little samples of perfumes that i love i have a card here which i'm going to open in a few minutes here I have my receipts which I will be sharing the price with you guys later on can you guys do the unboxing and opening without ripping the paper because I don't seem to be able to I always rip my Chanel papers when I do the unboxings So here I have the Chanel dust bag, the bag, and if you guys are wondering what else comes inside, so here is the care booklet and it usually has inside the little dust pouch for you to clean the bag with and a care booklet inside. And here she is. I really am just so nervous so this is my newest Chanel mini this is the Chanel mini classic flat bag in the quilted lambskin leather with the champagne gold color hardware and the dark beige color of the 21p collection 
I think I can breathe more relieved now that I have had the chance to look at the bag. I mean, I still have to try it on and look at it, I guess, for a bit longer for little details. But overall, I think it looks amazing. I definitely feel the difference in the chain. I can feel it is twisting a bit, but nothing compared to the one that I had returned. And the flap is way more symmetric than the other one. I don't see any major defects with this bag. Obviously, I need to try it on. But for now, I'm just so relieved and so happy and so excited. This bag is such a unicorn bag, guys. This bag has been just as hard to get, I would say, as my Chanel mini flap with pearls. But it was totally worth it because this bag is really just the most beautiful color I have ever seen. Now, if you follow Chanel's collection and if you are a Chanel lover, you may know that this color is very hard to come by. It is extremely, extremely rare. In fact, um, brown and dark beige lovers are always on the lookout for new collections that may release this because it is something that is not very common. Chanel does have seasonal colors that it repeats way more than this one. So whenever this color comes by, usually it is extremely, extremely popular. And this one, particularly in the mini, has been, I believe, one of the most sought after bags of the whole collection. And uh, the fact that I was able to score this twice uh, even though the first time it was a big fail, I am just so extremely happy. I am the biggest fan of dark beige. I have been on the lookout for a dark beige bag for as long as I can remember. I used to own two other Chanel bags in the beige color, but they were in the light beige. I had the double flap medium classic in the Claire beige, which is a very light beige color, a classic beige tone from Chanel. And uh, I have also had a seasonal bag in the same color, which I ended up letting go of because of the color. As much as I love beige, I really wanted it to be a darker tone of beige where I felt comfortable wearing often on daily occasions. And I feel that with this color here, I will feel way more uh, at ease of wearing the bag and enjoying it. So. I'm just so, so excited that I own this baby. And I can't thank my essay enough for allowing me to purchase this. So for those of you who may be wondering how I managed to buy two of the same bags. Now, you may not know, but Chanel does have a policy whereby you are not allowed to buy two bags within, I believe, a two month rolling period. Therefore, um, I wouldn't have been able to buy this bag, at least not under my name, um, from two different stores at the same time because their systems are linked so they're able to trace how many items they purchased in uh, the region. So when I purchased the first handbag, which was defective, I purchased this from a different Chanel store that I purchased the second one. And it was only three days apart. So I purchased the first one from another shop and uh, I had issues with the bag. I was communicating that with the essay at the time, but I had still uh, left my name down on the wish list for this bag in other stores that I usually shop at. So I had other essays on the lookout for this bag for me. So in the meantime, when I was communicating the issues with my first item with my essay, I received a text from another essay from a different store confirming that she had received this and she had it on hold for me. And I immediately told her that I wanted to purchase the bag. And when she went to check uh, the information in the system, she realized that I had already purchased another handbag from a different store. And she told me she wouldn't be able to sell me this bag. And I literally almost had a heart attack because that was my only chance to eventually hold um, another one of these babies. So I made sure to show her that there was an issue with my bag that I had communicated that already with the store. I was only holding on to the bag because I was hoping they would be able to replace it with another one. But since she had the bag available, 
I was willing to pay for that bag and make the return of the previous one, which I did. The bag has already been returned. So I just wanted to make this disclaimer here because I know there is a big commotion right now in the community about Chanel's policy. So just wanted to let that here in case you guys are wondering, but I just feel the luckiest person on earth today because I had been just so upset for the past couple of days um, with the fact that the bag of my dreams that I had been so lucky to score came defective and I didn't think I was going to be able to find another one but here she is and I just couldn't be more uh, grateful and happy with my essay for helping out uh, for looking out for me and helping me find this beautiful perfect bag i will share the price with you guys um this handbag by the way guys is not available on the website i usually take a screenshot of the item displayed on chanel's website so i can show you here the reference number of the item however as you may know not all of the items um, will be available on the website but it is from the 21p collection it is a dark beige mini classic flat bag and the price I paid for this was £3,210. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this one. I certainly have finished this video. So, so happy and grateful that I was finally able to get the beautiful, perfect bag of my dreams. And I couldn't be happier and more grateful that I have this one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video and for sticking around. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you are not yet a part of the family. I hope that you stay safe in blast and I see you next time soon in here. Take care now. Bye.